I'm on vacation with my extended family at the beach, so I thought I'd ask some of them, because they all have families, how they organize their meal planning for the week. Let's go into that. This is my cousin, Catherine. So tell me who all is in your family. In my family, I feed my husband, Adam, and my two kids, Evie and Walker, and they're three and five years old. Three and five, so they can't help you very much. They like to try. <laughs> and then I just have to clean it all up. But yeah, no, they're fun. So have you tried a lot of things to like plan out your week? Or are you just kind of... How do you do? do? I definitely have to plan out the week because we work. And you know, the kids have a lot of energy. So the more time I get to spend with them, the better. Mm -hmm. So I love to plan out my meal on Sunday mornings. But a lot of times we'll go out Friday night. So that's, I will say, so I meal plan Monday through Thursday. Oh, okay. Like, or through lunch Friday. And okay. then we eat out most of the weekend. And then Adam was telling me that you even plan, like, lunches for I him do. to take? Yes. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> You're advanced. <laughs> so you guys, you, if you go out to eat, you just go out on Fridays. It's a special thing. Mm hmm Yeah, we try not to go out during the week. Just, again, we're too busy. <laughs> too busy, yeah. Okay. Now I'm with my sister. And so let's talk about when you had your family to feed. Who all were you feeding? I was feeding me and my kids and my husband. Two kids? Two kids. So did you do meal planning? <laughs> that was good. Meal planning. <laughs> what are we out of? <laughs> um, and what do you feel like? We ate a lot of the same things because most kids like, or my kids like most kids are picky or were picky, not so much anymore. So, you know, there was always stuff to make pizza, always stuff to make hamburgers, always stuff to make tacos. Um, and when other people came over, I got to show off my culinary skills. My children did not appreciate my culinary skills. Meal planning was non-existent. It's okay. I know, I remember you had a cool thing for going out to eat. You had like, who gets... Oh, way back, when we could not decide and or agree on things, we did have a little thing inside the pantry. It had little tiny envelopes, and then we actually let the child pick. So were it your name in there too, or just yeah. the kids' names? No, um, parents and kids. You got to take turns picking where to go yes. out to dinner. That's your meal planning. That was, <laughs> for, for a season, that was my meal planning. On Sunday morning. Sunday morning. Yeah. So how do you find what you're going to make? I do a lot of Pinterest. Um, and for... What do you search on Pinterest? Um, I'm, I try to eat healthy. Uh -huh. So I do a lot of like paleo or Whole30 kind of recipes. Okay. Doesn't always work, but I try. I'm old school. I print everything out. So you print it out and then where do you put it? I have just like a three ring binder that okay. I keep everything in. Okay. And what else do you have to do on Sunday morning? I make my grocery list. Okay. And um, how do you make that? On paper? or Uh-huh. Yep, me too. I'm I, do my own, I do my own paper. So mm -hmm. you go shopping Sunday too? Mm-hmm. And then do you, how many? How often do you have to run back? Um, typically I don't. Oh, good. I normally try to get the whole week done. Did you ever do any delivery service? No. No? My son is big on delivery service now, but... What does he get delivered now? Groceries or prepared food? Prepared food. He does Uber Eats way too often. Oh, I see. How many meals were in your rotation? You said pizza, hamburgers, tacos? Well, rotation is a, a loose term. Pizza, definitely once a week. And I made homemade pizza because that's how we roll. There was always some kind of pasta in the rotation. Carbonara, spaghetti, meatballs. Michael used to make his huge vat, you know, one of those things this big mm -hmm. of his spaghetti sauce, which had meatballs and stuff in it, and that would last us three months. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> no, we used to can it and put it in the freezer. So we'd have spaghetti often during those three months, and then not for the rest of the year. So how many times a week would you go to the grocery store? Usually once. Ah, yeah. Um, $200. Once, once a week, and then the rest was eaten out. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you for sharing meal planning strategies. Now back to vacation. Back to vacation! We're on vacation.
like how many recipes are in your rotation? Is it always growing? Or? Um, I'll normally, yeah, I like to try new things, so I grow it a lot, but I'll have like two or three that I like go back to at yeah. least once a week, like a crock pot recipe. Mm -hmm. That's nice and easy. So do you have the same thing every Friday or something like that? I like to have pizza every Friday. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it's a great way to end the week. Yeah, pizza and a movie. So you cook on on Sunday too? So mm -hmm. you make the list, you go to the store, and you cook on Sunday? Yes. Wow. It's a busy day. Yeah, it's a busy day. <laughs> but then, so when you get home from work most days, you don't have to make anything. I try not to. That's okay. Well, yeah. thank you. Thank you. Oh, this okay. is fun. Let's go back to the pool. Yeah. This is my second cousin, Emily, and she has, how many kids do you have? Three. Three children. So, how does it work at your house for dinner time? Is everybody home every night, or what's the schedule? Yeah, most nights we're all home um, by six, mm -hmm. the latest, and we probably eat dinner around seven or seven fifteen. Um, during the school year, because I work at a school, um, I usually grocery shop on Mondays. Mm -hmm. Um while they're at after school activities and that kind of sets us up for the week. So if you shop on Mondays, how do you make the list? How do you decide what to get and all that? So a lot of times on Sunday afternoon, I'll Google recipes or pull, the, pull them and see what they want for the week and consider what we've had last week, look and see if we have any nights where we're gonna be out or yep. things like that. Now I'm here with my cousin Amy for the cocktail edition of meal planning uh, with my cousins. She's another cousin. Okay. So, uh, cheers. Cheers. Here's to meal planning. Yes. So, tell me what you do for meal planning. Do you do, you do anything for meal planning? Do you do it? Kind of. Um, I have, I have uh, an eight to five job. Mm -hmm. And so, um, and I don't like to buy everything in advance because that usually ends up, we end up eating out and it goes to waste. Okay. So I have a, a meal service that I use um, once a week and I can get it um, for two meals or three meals or however many. And I like that because it comes on Tuesdays and normally that means that we can have it Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. If it doesn't work out, then we freeze some of it and use it on Sundays. So what um, do you get in this meal service? Um, I I love it. It's uh, it's a meat and vegetable kind of a thing. Okay. So um, a lot of it is Asian based foods because it cooks quickly. Okay. Um, so it could be like a beef and broccoli or you know rice. It comes with all the food that you need in the proper amount. So if it calls for um, soy sauce or something like that, it only gives you the amount of soy sauce for the recipe. Okay. And so you don't have any waste. And normally, um, if I'm just feeding the four of us, uh, my husband and I oftentimes take what we have for lunch the next day. Oh, okay. Because we have leftovers sometimes. Um, but it has also a lot of flexibility in what you can choose as far as um, the meals that you want. So you can go in and edit what you like and don't like. Okay. So what happens when there are five of you, uh, six of you instead of four of you? You know, I'll pick out a recipe and go to the grocery store. Right. I'm kind of a buy what you need at the time that you need it person, mm -hmm. so I probably would go after work, uh -huh. maybe at lunch, um, and then after after work just go home and cook whatever. How many different meals do you think that you make for a family of five? I love to cook, so I'm always adding new stuff and then always bringing back old, so I would say at least a dozen. Or yeah, more. I mean, probably well, yeah, more than that. That's good. <laughs> so, do you make us? Do you write down your grocery list every week? I use the notes page in my. You use the notes app. Mm -hmm. All right, I do. All right, I and as I think of things, I just pop them on there. Do you have any stories about a favorite meal or the kids cooking mm -hmm. or anything like that? Yes, their bread um, sellers is a good garlic prepper, and I use a lot of garlic, so she's learned to do that, which is fun and helpful. Um, both of the girls can pretty much cook or help with anything that we do um, in how, the kitchen. How old are they? They are eight. No, they just turned nine. Just turned nine and ten. So, Great. Yeah. What's your favorite thing your mom makes? Um, Biscuits. <laughs> Biscuits. Um, Spaghetti. I like the um, tomato basil pasta. 
The kids don't always eat for that cook the first. I have to right. do Waffle House first. Oh, Waffle House. All right. <laughs> like yeah, I have good. to. Yeah. Have to do yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. So, um, and how about do you do all the grocery shopping? Yes. Nobody's helping you. My huh? daughter will help from time to time mm -hmm. with some of that. Yeah. She she knows how to she knows how to cook some things, and she right. likes to help. My son did make, um, he found a recipe on YouTube for aligot potatoes, which are super cheesy, stringy potatoes, and okay. he made that mm -hmm. by himself, and it actually, it was really good, so it I think good. he can cook. Okay. He just doesn't. He's holding out on <laughs> I you. I know, yeah. All right. Okay, so um, how many times a week do you think you go to the grocery store? If you have the service. If I didn't have the service, I would go probably four or five times a week. <laughs> yeah. Um, because but, I have it, I think I go probably two or three. Thanks for sharing your secrets. Now let's get back to the beach. I like it. <laughs> What's your favorite thing to cook from scratch? The most surprising thing I've ever cooked that they ate was uh, cauliflower pizza. Cauliflower pizza? So you could use cauliflower for the, um, for the crust. crust. Yes, and they never knew that, and they ate all of it. You just grind it up in the blender or something? Mm -hmm. And I made a chocolate cake with it once, too, and I ate the whole thing. And I, <laughs> I let them have all that they wanted, and they couldn't believe it. They were like, why are you letting us have this chocolate cake all the time? I was like, oh, it's fine. It's healthy cake. Yeah, and they, they never knew. That's mm. awesome. Yeah. When you go to the grocery store, do you make a list? No. No. You well, it depends. If I have a recipe, I write down the things that are in it, okay. but for the most part, I have to go up and down every aisle to make sure that I... Yeah. see what I need. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, thank you for telling us about yeah. it. Thank you. Another cousin, another solution. Okay, cheers. All right, cheers. I hope you have enjoyed this vacation edition of a Get Organized Already video. And you can see everybody does it differently. It's okay if you don't prep everything on Sundays. And it's okay if you don't have every meal you're going to make. Just find out what works for you and your family. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our newsletter. And I'll see you next time on another video for Get Organized Already.